Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. Today we are going to be talking about the prospect of Kyle Larson returning to NASCAR, possibly with a very high caliber team. Uh, now before we get into this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I want to make sure, especially in this video, that you guys keep it civil in the comments. I know this is kind of still a hot button for many people, but, you know, just keep it civil. We're all people here and you know we're all we're all just living life so you know be nice to each other and other than that you know let's just get into it here so if you don't know what happened essentially Kyle Larson is or was a NASCAR driver uh, he's a young guy very very talented like we're talking extremely talented uh, always got the best out of his equipment and then during the COVID pandemic when they were doing uh, eye racing, he used a racial slur and, you know, got kicked out of NASCAR, lost basically everything, and has since then done a lot of good things for a lot of people. Um, he has absolutely worked his way back up from the bottom, and is he he raced in the world of outlaws, raced in all kinds of dirt events. I basically built himself back up and you know truly it looks like at least trying to change um it's it's a really unfortunate circumstance and you know events that took place and yeah so uh this week word came out that he has actually been reinstated in nascar his suspension has been lifted which is it's my personal opinion uh, you guys can definitely have yours, but I think this is a good thing. It It is apparent that he made a mistake, and he is sorry for it, and knows what he did is wrong. And I think he's working to change that. I'm very excited to have Kyle Larson back in the sport. And so essentially he's come back, and many rumors have flown around for a long time. Even like as early as, I think he got kicked out in April or May. And even like as early as like June, it was it was pretty rumored that he'd be back next season. And you know, it started with Stuart Haas and then it kind of moved and stuff. And now it appears the heavily rumored thing is that he will be signing with Hendrick Motorsports uh, to drive either, you know the the five or the 25 or the 88 something like that and I'd say that this rumor has basis and I want to talk about why that is and what I think this could mean for the sport and for Kyle Larson and for Hendrick alright so these rumors have been going on for a while and they were fairly baseless until just about I like two weeks ago okay because Alex Bowman in the 88, I'm driving as him in the video here, uh, got officially announced to be moving to the 48 next season, and that was somewhat unsurprising because rumors had been flying for months that Hendrick would be dropping the 88 car, and uh, the, the initial rumor was that they would be going to a three-car team, but now things have kind of shifted. But so it was unsurprising, Alex Bowman to the 48 next season. Now, that um, offers up, you know, like some definite speculation there because you could say, you know, some sponsors obviously are not going to want to work with Kyle Larson after what has happened, so maybe they're moving Alex Bowman to the 48 because Ally was not willing to work with him. Uh, that is completely speculation. That could be false, but that that is seems to be the current speculation. And then rumors were only heightened when earlier this week it was announced that Kyle Larson's suspension had been lifted. So things look like they're kind of shaping up right now that he will be at Hendrick. It was, honestly, I thought that you know, as soon as that news came out, it came out at like 3:30 on I believe Monday. And I was I was fairly confident that by like 5 that night we'd get another breaking news that he had been signed to Hendrick, but we didn't. So that is interesting, but there've been many silly season, you know, moves that have happened since then 
and Kyle Larson is still on the table. Hendricks still is not signed to fourth car, and I think the cards are just stacking up, and it looks like he's going to be there. Now, what is my take on this? Um, My take is that this is going to be, in my opinion, I believe, a very good thing for the sport, for Kyle Larson, and for Hendrick, because Kyle Larson is notorious for you know getting the best out of his equipment and basically performing like an absolute stud at just about every level of competition for a young driver he was looking phenomenal and honestly this whole situation is very unfortunate because i think that he could have gone on to be and like one of the greats and i think he still could be but it's going to be a lot of an uphill battle now like it's it's not going to be easy. And the fact that he's even rumored uh, to drive a Hendrick car next year is is a pretty big deal. Because that Hendrick is a top-level equipment. They haven't been performing as well this year. But they're, you know, a perennial contender. They had three of their four cars in the playoffs. Two of their cars are in the round of eight right now. And they... You know, they, they're not always running at the front, but they are one of the biggest teams in NASCAR, for sure. So, the prospect of Kyle Larson returning, not only to a team, but to a better team than what he was previously on in the 42 of Chip Ganassi, it's a pretty big deal. So, with this, if he gets that seat and has a good crew behind him, I believe that Kyle Larson could be... Is even as soon as next year, back running towards the front of the pack, it is my personal belief that if Kyle Larson is back next year with Hendrick, he will most likely be in the round of eight at least. Because he is he's a contender, he's always been good, and it would be very, very interesting to see what he's going to do with this seat. Um, it would be good for Hendrick. It might be a little tough because, you know, there's definitely going to be some some tough press uh, that's coming from this if they sign him. However, most of NAS the NASCAR fan base, you know, people outside of NASCAR, I'm sure, we're, are going to have some huge problems with this, you know, just because that's how it is. But the people inside of NASCAR, I believe, most of us know that he, he is kind of, it was a mistake. It was a mistake, and I we think he's grown from it. So, I there is going to be some bad press, but ultimately, if they just stick by their driver, and you know, if everything goes well, I believe that this could be a very fruitful partnering. And I hope that you know, it. I hope that the news comes out soon that that he will be driving for Hendrick. Now, it'll be interesting to see what happens. This is another little aspect of the story here that we haven't really touched on. Are they going to retire the 88? Um, I personally hope not. I I love Dale. Okay, so a little bit of backstory. This is just a personal anecdote here, but uh, Dale Jr. was my favorite driver ever since I was a tiny, small child. Dale Jr. was my favorite driver. Then he retired. Uh, then my favorite driver was Kyle Larson for a long time, and then things kind of went downhill there. And this year I've been cheering for Alex Bowman because he's he's driving the 88. So I personally really hope that they keep the 88. Uh, I don't know that they will. I wouldn't mind seeing a return to the 5. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but I personally don't think that we'll see him in the 88. It'll be interesting because part of the problem um, with, with their thing here is that they've kind of been having some struggles with sponsorship for the 88 ever since Junior left and that's been heightened and that was part of the reason why the rumors came out that they'd be dropping the 88 after this season however you know things could get much worse potentially if they have Kyle Larson as the driver of that car so it'll be interesting to see what'll happen here I th that's just my take though let me know your take down in the comments as I said before, keep it respectful. I just hope you guys are having a blessed and safe day. Um, I've been putting out more videos lately because I've had a lot more free time, and I really do enjoy doing it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. 
other than that, this has been Decaf Dr. Thunder, and I will catch you guys next time.